Hi everyone, my name is Ileana and I'm a professional piercer here at Lulu's Body Piercing and today we're going to be talking about the things I don't tell you about nipple piercings. So with the nipple piercings, you always want to keep in mind that in the beginning it does take six months to about a year and sometimes you do want to aim for that full year. Throughout these months, you're going to notice a lot of irregular discharge. The irregular discharge is normal. A lot of people freak out, especially because it comes out looking milky, kind of gooey, and then especially, you know, it comes around right next to the barbells and it kind of cakes up. Make sure you're still cleaning it two to three times a day with sterile saline solution. Another thing to look for is random swelling. We pierce you here at a 5 8 14 gauge barbell however some people are very different and their swelling can start progressing after that for example I started at a 5 8 and then I did have to go up to about a 3 4 it's super normal you come in get it changed and then we do end up changing you back to a comfortable pose and once you're completely healed we do change you to what's appropriate for your nipple and in case you didn't know here at our shop we do pierce males at a half inch barbell still being 14 gauge and women at a 5 8 barbell so men have a little smaller one and women having larger ones this is just to have appropriate swelling space for both male and females all right ladies and gents if you want to get it going on if you're trying to get freaky or whatever just keep in mind that this can lead to serious infections not an infection to just come into a piercer but also a medical emergency. We do tell you things to stay away from because we understand and we know the risks for everything. With your nipple piercings, you're gonna get these weird sharp pains sometimes. It's totally normal. Expect these little, like, sharp little pinches. You know when your arm falls asleep? You're gonna feel that in your nipple, but in specific areas. Sometimes you get this from either bumping it, and for you, that moment didn't feel like a lot, but you're waking up and now you're sore. That's from pulling it. Maybe you rolled over in the middle of your bed and then your nipple piercing kind of tugged it a little bit. It didn't feel like a big deal, but now you woke up and you feel that little sharp pain. Nothing to be concerned about, but just watch out for it. Most of the time, people come in but wanting both their nipples pierced. Depending on the type of person you are, especially with healing, that doesn't necessarily mean that they'll be healing at the exact same time. One may heal faster, that's just how our body works. Cells are just gonna rush to one side to heal it all and then move towards the next one, so don't be alarmed if they're not at the same pace. And if you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe, and to watch more videos like this, go ahead and click the link up here.